Politicians Jeez. are gaslighting Americans. That's what's happening right now. We have two tweets over the weekend from a politician who absolutely is saying th- there's no way she believes this stuff. Zero chance that she believes this. The first tweet we have is that we, Elizabeth Warren tweeted and said, Americans are paying record high prices for their Thanksgiving turkey, while big poultry companies are paying billions in dividends, giving CEOs raises, and earning huge profits. These companies are abusing their market power. I'm asking the Department of Justice to investigate. I want to frame this for a second here. We live in a country that has 6.2% official inflation number. There's over 4.5% unemployment. There's 11 million open jobs. Last year in 2020 was the single highest one year record jump in homicides in the United States. And we have a supply chain that couldn't move a dime five feet without incurring more cost. The whole system's broken. Unemployment too high. Inflation too high. Open rolls too high. Homicides up significantly and the supply chains are broken. Add in that it's getting worse and worse, inflation is accelerating, and you can quickly see how bad the situation is. But while all that's going on, the people that have been elected to leadership positions on both sides of the aisle are absolutely losing their minds. We have a politician who wants to use the Department of Justice, the Department of Justice, to investigate big poultry. What the hell is big poultry? I've never heard of big poultry. I don't think there's some big evil corporation that is trying to stuff chicken and turkey at overpriced uh, terms down your throat for Thanksgiving. What is big poultry? This is complete nonsense. But even worse than that, is the Department of Justice, really? We're going to have the Department of Justice go investigate the turkey companies to see if they're selling the turkeys for too much? Well, that would ask the question, why did they do it last year? Why did they price gouge last year? Or the year before that? Or the year before that? Why is it that randomly the... Chicken, poultry, and turkey companies randomly decided in 2021, this is the year we're going to get them this year. They're not going (laughs) to expect it. We're going to price gouge them. This is insane. But these people don't actually believe this. They know that the undisciplined monetary and fiscal policy that we have in this country has completely destroyed the middle class. It has ruined the purchasing power of 45% of Americans that have no investable assets. And it has driven prices through the roof. Go to a gas pump and try to buy gas and you tell me that something's not wrong. Go and try and buy a turkey like you did for yesterday and tell me something's not wrong. It's not price gouging. It's literally, they simply are having increased labor cost and they're having increased fixed cost and they're having increased cost of goods. So they have to increase their prices. They have to pass it on to their consumer. Now, the second tweet she had was wondering why your Thanksgiving groceries cost more this year. It's because greedy corporations are charging Americans extra just to keep their stock prices high. This is outrageous. No, what's outrageous is that actually in many cases, these businesses have given their employees raises. We've seen everyone from Chipotle down to Tyson Foods all the way across. They've all given their employees raises. They've increased their own costs because they have to. Because that's how a free market works, is that if your competitors increase their labor cost, you have to as well, or your employees will leave. And so we have seen every corporation continue to pay their employees more and more and more. 80%, 80% of Americans get paid more than $15 an hour. There is no need for politicians to pass a higher minimum wage. The free market has already determined that the minimum wage in America for 80% of American workers is over $15 an hour. McDonald's is paying $20. Is McDonald's price gouging as well? They're paying their employees $20. In some cases, we have seen people literally say, I'll give you thousands of dollars of a signing bonus. To get a signing bonus, you used to either have to be a professional athlete or go work on Wall Street. Now we're giving it to fast food workers. Something is wrong. (laughs) And it's not because there's some greedy corporation. The corporations are doing exactly what economics would require them to do. If my expenses go up, the only way for me to protect my profits is for me to raise my prices so that I keep the same margin. And in many cases, I'm actually willing to bet that most of them are making less on a percentage basis. It just so happens that at the same time that they're increasing their prices, the government went and gave a bunch of liquidity to the market. They gave out stimulus checks. They gave out boost to unemployment. They pushed liquidity into every single exotic financial corner of the market. And so there's all this free cash flowing around. And so what do people do? They either hold it and lose purchasing power or they spend it. So they're rushing out and they're spending it and they're spending it and they're spending it. You could go sector by sector, industry by industry, and everyone is experiencing higher profits, higher revenue, and stock prices going up. 
Are they all greedy? Is every single person who runs a, co a company greedy? Is the small business owner who had to increase their prices, are they greedy as well? Is a small business on Main Street that owns literally one location, has five employees, and they've had to increase their prices 10% this year because they can't source their goods for the same prices or their labor needs to get paid more in order to keep up with inflation? Are they greedy? If our politicians want to attack our corporations, then they should be intellectually honest because whether you're a small business or you're a corporation, you're forced to do the exact same thing. It has nothing to do with price gouging. It has nothing to do with greed. And it's everything to do with undisciplined monetary and fiscal policy. And the part that nobody wants to talk about is they did this. The companies are just merely reaction. They're reacting to the undisciplined monetary and fiscal policy. They're not the ones who did this. And it, anyone who's saying that they did has lost their minds. What do you think, Joe? I do not even think that she believes what she is saying. Zero chance. Zero chance. I don't even think. Zero she, chance. I, I think this is classic just throwing bullshit out there to, to cater to her, her fan base and gaslighting. Her, yeah, it is exactly what it is because she knows everyone knows everyone that has some simple understanding of economics and how businesses work. Know that when all these costs are increasing, you have to also, they have shareholders. Some of these corporations, public comp companies have shareholders, individual, institutional, et cetera, retail traders that own parts of these companies that demand you to keep your margins good, demand you to continue to, to make more money when you're paying employers more, when the supply chain is messed up, when you're introducing all this liquidity into the, into the economy 30 to i think it's like 35 or 40 percent of the money that is currently in circulation was printed in the last 12 to 18 months they know what they did they know what the, the end result of this was and again part of this is they were put in a really difficult situation right i don't think anyone had the perfect solution when you're hit with a uh a virus like covid and the economy has to shut down and you have to tell people to do all these different things mm -hmm. there's a million different arguments about what they should have done there is no one clear-cut solution that says hey this would have been the perfect response they're put in a really difficult situation but to sit there and now say that corporations are being greedy and trying to price gouge and do all these things it's bullshit. They know it's bullshit. And I don't even believe she believes half of what she's saying. I think it is literally she's just pandering to her base and trying to put out this information to save her own seat and say, hey, look, they're they're being greedy. They're doing all these things and putting the blame on other people. She, as a politician, knows exactly what happened from a fundamental understanding of business. She knows exactly what happened. I think this is all bullshit. John, what do you think? To see a U.S. Senator Elizabeth Warren saying stuff like this is it's just not good. Like it's, it's literally trying to fuel the American people to think one way. And if you say things enough, people begin to believe that it is true when this is just not what's going on. Restaurants, for example, the cost of people has gone up. The cost of food has gone up. The cost of rent has gone up. And these corporations, they're not price gouging to increase their stock price. You know, it's increasing their stock price when you print trillions and trillions of dollars in the last 18 months and stocks are just going up. They're going through the roof. They don't need the price gouge to do that. Their margins are actually getting squeezed because of the costs that they're incurring. And I think that once these costs go up for certain items, they're not going to go back down. You see Chipotle increase their cost by, what, 4% across the board, basically? Steak's up 20%. It's around 20%. Steak from last year to this year is up over 20%. So as a restaurant, they're actually, I think their margins are getting squeezed even more. And they're just trying to do what they can to stay afloat. I don't think they're necessarily price gouging, but they also run a corporation. If you don't want to eat there, you don't have to eat there. That is the beauty of the free market and what we live in today. The last thing I'm going to say about this, and then we're going to bring on the uh, uh, first person who bought a thousand dollars worth of merch. What store. hyperinflation's incoming? <laughs> no, no, even better. You know the part that they'll never admit: the federal government increased pay. They voted this year, and the Senate appropriators said yes, we're going to increase pay for federal workers next year. Which, by the way, is a good thing. That's a good thing. We should we should say yes, that's good. They only did it at two point two percent, which means that they literally aren't even keeping up with inflation, which is a whole nother argument of literally the federal government's going to pay federal workers less next year than they are this year. Big problem. But now should we say that the government's greedy? The government is literally increasing their cost. Uh, they're greedy. They're greedy. They're taking more of our money. They're taking more of our taxpayer money to go in to pay their staff. You greedy leaders. The, the, the thing that I would say is like, don't trust any of them. <laughs> Whatever side of the aisle you think you stand on, don't trust any of them. <laughs> what, what we have found over time is uh, these people are always going to do what is in the best interest of themselves because that's what the incentives reward. And I think ultimately the best decision is not to trust any of them. And, and, and don't stick your head in the sand and say, hey, I agree with this party on one issue or on all issues. You need to look at everything kind of in a silo and say, hey, let's take the facts for what they are and decide from there. Because if we found anything Politicians will lie to you. That's what they'll do. And, and, and not everyone is in it for your best interest. One of, one of the best things was Mark Cuban when he was talking about Bitcoin specifically. And he was just like, look, I read, or uh, I think it was Gary Vee actually. They basically read 
all the negative stuff and what people were kind of rebuking about and like what they were saying to understand the entire argument of all this. And that's what I think you're kind of getting to is like, you have to look at both sides because then you get a clearer picture and then you can make your own opinion rather than just reading one side of saying, hey, inflation's going up because of this, this, this. You want to look at everything and make your own opinion.